Hey guys and welcome to another grocery haul. My name is Analia and I'm a mom of three beautiful little girls. This grocery haul is for our family of five, which one's a, a breastfed baby so she doesn't really count, but also another adult. So three adults and two kids. My mother-in-law is with us from Nigeria currently. But... <laughs> first half is from Aldi and then I got a couple things from Coles and the country grocer so let me show you what I got from Aldi so this was all uh, around $249 but some eggs a salad dumplings they haven't had these for so long our kids love them so I was excited to see those vinegar we have just started homeschooling one of our kids and going to do some vinegar and bicarb experiments lactose free long life milk and a neutral grain this was $7.50 it was below $8 which is what it normally is at Coles on sale I believe so we grabbed that I have never tried their nappies. We've been using Coles. Coles nappies much better than Woolworths, but I thought we would try Aldi because we're normally pretty happy with everything Aldi. Then three packs of wipes, some onion, garlic bread, and that's going to be with some lasagna, which is actually for tonight. I just grabbed that quickly so I could stick that in when we got back because it is currently 5.30. And our kids normally eat at 5.30, so I've got to stick that in the oven. And we got some butter. That's not for anything in particular, but I'm sure I'll cook something and need butter. I normally cook mushrooms in, in butter. Some nut legs, a couple mangoes. We got some fruit rolls. Lemon juice, there's two of those. It's just for lemon fish and water. Mushrooms we have for lunch a lot with the eggs and avocados, broccoli, onions, ravioli, chickpeas. I'm going to use that in some salad yeah, it's just to build up my pantry a little bit. And that because I used some kidney beans last week that I didn't plan on, so I'm just replacing those. What else have we got? So, cucumbers. Note those are the kings. I'm going to make sausage rolls, which I've said in the last two videos and I haven't done, so this week I am going to do that. Then we've got cucumbers, which will be for snacks. Our two-year-old loves cucumbers. She'll probably eat all of those. Two things of yogurt. We love this yogurt. It's just like the Gippsland one, but it's actually gone up in price again, so it's probably on par with Gippsland. I don't know. Anyway, chicken stock. I love this chicken stock, it's cheaper than Vegeta and all the other brands and I honestly think it tastes better than all the other brands. Then we have a Greek yogurt, some digestive biscuits, my two year old chucked those in, anyway, she probably won't eat those. Avocados, a block of cheese and some gay times or summer delights, whatever you want to call them. I am just going to stick those and this fish in the freezer and I'll be right back. But this is for lemon fish. So also some see if the kids like them. We talk about the snacks, music bars, I'll package the crackers myself and the Oreos. I'll, I'll portion them into Ziploc bags. I'm gonna have a barbecue, so we've got some pasta salad there, which will also go with the risol. Some sausages, we have bananas, peaches, plums, and apples. What are they like a kilo each? Then carrots. I always get carrots because they're shit so cheap, but I'm pretty sure I've already got two bags. This is for salad as well. Salad, we'll have a roast chicken, and that we will have with the lemon rice. So that's everything. So I'll put the, the price in, but around 200 $49 and then we spent about $18 at Coles but I will confirm that. This week I ordered you food so four months ago I ordered a bunch of you foods for the first time and got 40% off and I went for the 18 pack. They're all different prices but if you went 18 all the meals were cheaper so it was $100 for 18 meals and I just stocked the fridge with them and I had two of my sisters come to take care of the kids and my mum 
she came to the hospital with us as well but she was here a little bit and they were able to just take the meals and eat them and then when we got home there were still leftover meals and it was great. My husband has just started a new job so I have ordered the U foods again so he can take those to work. So I was meant to kind of clear my freezer and I haven't done that but I'll have to do that between now and Saturday. I've got what's today? Tuesday. So I've got a couple days to use some of the bigger bits of meat in there and to freeze your foods because we're getting 18. You'll probably take two or three in a week, but maybe more, but it'll last a couple weeks. So I will link you foods below because I do recommend trying them. We did not particularly like the roast chicken and vegetables, it all was a bit soggy, but if you get the pastas or the rice meals, they were quite good. But if you do get it, look at the 18 meals because I think you can get like 10 for 60. Then you may as well pay an extra 40 bucks to get an extra eight. I think that's a bargain. Anyway, but let me show you what I got from Cole. So the U Foods arriving on Saturday, which more all of next week that lunches will be covered for him and for me. I will eat them too. So from Cole's, just the corn, two loaves of bread, and Jordan's cluster bites. There was a pack of wagon wheels, but they got eaten on the way home. And then this was just from the grocer, which Semolina, we saw the Peppa Pig pasta. So the kids will have that for lunch. It's pretty expensive, <laughs> $5, but it's fun. And if they eat a lunch, that's a win too. The spinach, my husband will make Nigerian stew with that and with this. And then some lamb chops and some pumpkin. So that's all for this week. Like I said, we're waiting for the youth food to come for some lunches, but that'll probably carry us more into next week than this week. That's everything. So please subscribe, follow. Thank you.